In today's video, I'm going to be making the moistest chocolate cake that I've ever had. You will need the following ingredients. 3 fourths cup of cocoa powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking soda, 3 fourths teaspoons of salt, 2 eggs, 1 tablespoon of vanilla, 1 cup of buttermilk, half a cup of melted butter, 2 cups of granulated sugar, and 1 and 3 fourths cup of flour. This recipe is so easy. Basically put all your dry ingredients in the bowl. Start off with your flour, then add in your 2 cups of sugar, your 3 fourths cup of cocoa powder, your salt, and finally your baking soda. Now you want to whisk this until there are no lumps. Then we'll start adding in our wet ingredients. Your two eggs and your half a cup of butter. Then your buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk on hand, you can make your own with one cup of whole milk and one tablespoon of white vinegar. Lastly, pour in your vanilla. I'm using a hand mixer to combine all the ingredients. Make sure not to overbeat your batter. I also forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you will need a cup of hot brewed coffee. Any coffee of your choice. I'm using vanilla flavored coffee. Make sure your coffee is hot. Then you want to mix it into your batter until it's well combined. Your batter is going to be very thin, so don't be scared. When you're done, pour the batter into two buttered 9 inch cake pans. Try to make them as even as possible, but they don't have to be perfect. Your oven should be at 350 degrees. Put in your cake pans into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. While we wait for our cakes to bake, let's start on our fudge frosting. In a small saucepan, add in 4 to 5 tablespoons of cocoa powder. To that, add in a fourth of a cup of water. You may need a little bit more, so stir to see if you need more. Next you want to put it on the heat. Stir the cocoa powder until it's very dissolved. Make sure your heat's on medium, I had it too high here obviously. Next you want to add in your condensed milk. Just stir until it's combined. You don't want to stop stirring because you don't want it to burn or stick to the bottom of the pan. Keep stirring and keep watching. Once it thickens and you can see the bottom of the pan, it's done. Now to make our simple syrup. In a small saucepan, add in half a cup of sugar and half a cup of water. Dissolve it on high heat. Add in some vanilla, stir that in, and then you want to leave it on there until it boils. Once it boils, start stirring it until it thickens into a syrup consistency. Now we're ready to assemble. Look how beautiful these look. I covered my table with plastic wrap. It just makes it easier for me to cut the cakes. Flip them over on your wrap, and I will be using a cake cutter instead of a knife. I think it's easier and it makes it more even. Carefully separate the top from the bottom. You can use a spatula to help you out. 
As you can see, my cake is still very hot. You definitely want to wait much longer than I did. Put your first layer of cake on your serving plate. Then you want to pour the simple syrup on that layer. Make sure to cover it as best as possible. This will make your cake very moist. On top of that, spread your dulce de leche as evenly as possible. Then you want to add your next layer. We're not going to add the simple syrup to this layer. Just the fudge. Spread this evenly as well. It doesn't matter if the cake breaks, no one's going to see the inside. Then the next layer. We will be adding the simple syrup to this one. You can add all the leftover or just as much as you want. Again with the dulce de leche, spread that evenly. And finally, our final layer. Use the rest of your fudge to completely cover the cake. Try to spread this as evenly as you can. And there you go, our cake is ready. Time to dig in. Look how moist this is. I'm so excited to try this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for more recipes. Thanks for watching.